Hey guys, I got some Hoko Life tips for you, especially if you're new to Hoko Life. Number one, do lots of villager requests. Many things are locked behind doing a number of villager requests or doing villager requests from a specific villager. Even though doing villager requests from all villagers are important, be sure to keep an eye out for these villagers that specifically unlock certain things as of this recording. They are Hector, Surf, Fior, Z, Kiko, and Timothy. If you are concerned about room on your map, check the bottom of the description for details on what these villagers unlock and what animal they are. If you would like a closer look at the villagers available in the game, I have a Characters in Hoko Life video to check out. Number two, move in lots of villagers. Until you get things unlocked, you may want to consider moving in every villager you come across. It gives a higher chance of a recipe to be given to you the more villagers you have to do requests for every day. Not to mention, you want to get those special NPCs to visit Oma's Inn so you can invite them into your town. To move in villagers, I suggest buying the first house in the housing list, as it is the cheapest and easiest to acquire supplies for. The roundhouse, which is the third one in the list, is also kind of small if you want variety, but it does cost a little more. Number three, buy your own house first. Though it may be tempting to get your villagers moved in, if you move into your own house first, you will unlock a catalog in Moss's shop. This catalog allows you to download other people's items they built and uploaded. You will need their creator code though. It does not take any resources to acquire the items from the catalog, however they do require resources if you wish to make copies of them at Sally's. This is helpful tip if you are still getting used to crafting or are low on supplies and want to get more of those bridges and ramps on your map. Whatever you download will show in your mailbox. Make sure you have enough room in your bag to grab all of your stuff in the letter. Number 4. Stairs. When you first start Hoko Life, it is not clear that you need a specific blueprint in order to get over those ledges, but you do. There is a blueprint you will eventually be able to buy from Sally after doing so many villager requests. The blueprint you need is called the Short Stairs. The small object blueprints and the small bridge blueprint are not going to help you get over those ledges. Number 5. Crafting. The measurements in crafting can be a little difficult to figure out. There is a grid button at the bottom of the screen to show the space you have available to work with. The letter M in the measurements represents one box, and your character is approximately three boxes tall. While crafting, hit the save button frequently to make sure that what you built is accepted. If it isn't saving, press the grid button and make sure nothing is poking outside of the white lined boxes. Sell whatever you crafted that you aren't happy with so you will get some coins out of it instead of tossing it or replacing the parts multiple times. Number 6. The Mines So you have unlocked the mines and started exploring but got to a point that it is too dark to carry on. You need a light. There is a crafting recipe specifically for the mines called Mining Lanterns to acquire from Sally after exploring the mines. Go to Sally after exploring what you can of the mines as of this recording, that is all that is required. Number seven, insects and fish. Try to catch all the insects and fish. It seems that there are villagers locked behind these goals. Although at first glance, the list of fish and insects appears to be a little short, it can still be a challenge to complete. Variables play a role of when these creatures are available. There is a link in the description below that gives the location, time, weather, and season of when the fish and insects appear. Number 8. Fishing. Fishing seems to be a struggle a lot of people have when they first start Hoko Life. Basically, you press the button it tells you, and you only press one button at a time. I have created a video of walking you through the process of catching a fish if you would like to check it out more in detail. Number 9. Money. Try to aim for purchasing the butterfly net as soon as you can, and then go for your backpack for deeper pockets. The fastest and easiest way to make money at the beginning of the game is to catch butterflies, sell items from your first two villagers, pluck flowers, complete quests, and sell items you have created at Sally's. Number 10. Crops. Save a little bit of the crops that are currently in season for Oma's requests. These requests will help you unlock more farming stuff. Also, selling and harvesting crops will unlock more farming stuff, so go out there and plant. 
Last but not least, number 11, trees. Trees in Hoko life will produce seeds when you cut them down. This can be especially helpful when you unlock fruit trees. Fruit tree seeds are kind of expensive and as of this recording, there isn't a way to get seeds from the fruit that falls. So a tip is to buy one seed, plant it, wait for it to become fully grown and then cut it down. The stumps left behind from all types of trees grow back in a few days and you have another seed to plant. Also, these seeds can be profitable if you want to sell them. Fruit trees produce the same kind of wood as cedar trees, so it is another way to get more crafting supplies. Thanks for watching Evening Clicks. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. See you next time.